guys, what's up? It's Maddie. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A um, on my Instagram story yesterday. I posted to have you guys ask me questions, anything at all, and that I would answer them in today's video just so you guys can kind of get to know me better and I can answer some of the questions that you guys have for me. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you look me up at Maddie McCarts on Instagram. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I thought I would start with the, one of the first questions I got was, tell us about yourself, and I thought this would be a good opener. So for anyone who doesn't know, I just recently graduated college. Um, I'm 21, and I currently work at a Fortune 500 company. Um, as a buyer so I got a degree in supply chain management and in my free time I like to work out and make content for you guys on YouTube Instagram whatever it might be so that's just a quick little blurb about me before we jump into the hard-hitting questions for this video um, so the next question I got was fave way to self-care and I actually have a really good answer for this one. I've been really into coloring and lately I do it almost every night for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes and it just really shuts down my brain from thinking and I just focus on the coloring and I do that and then I go to bed. It's a really nice way to wind down. I have a notebook that I'm reading off of because um, I film with my phone so next question um how are your brows so fire uh, so really quickly i my brow routine is very simple i brush them out with a brow brush and then i take a brow gel and swipe them through i know not very helpful for those of you who are like hoping for some type of magical product i don't wax my brows either if that helps at all my next question is if you could travel back in time for a week, which era would you choose and why? This is a good question because I have a super solid answer for it and it's the 1920s in Paris, in the rain. If any of you have seen Midnight in Paris with Owen Wilson, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's my dream, the roaring 20s. I want to experience it, so definitely that's my answer. Fave beauty products, okay, um, I would have to say my favorite beauty product at the moment is actually my jade roller with a combination of like my skincare and mostly moisturizers and serums. I just am obsessed with the way that makes my face feel at the end of the night. Um, next question is biggest, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear, um, we could go like the safe route of like really direct fear and that's drowning in a cave. And my other biggest fear is um, getting left behind. Um, next question, fave activities to relieve stress or anxiety. Again, I will say coloring is a really good one and then also um, I really like to work out or do yoga. Next question I got was how do you pick out your outfits? Uh, so this is a pretty solid question. Normally I like to pick out the pants that I want to wear first and I'll kind of break it down from there because I feel like um, that really dictates, I just hit myself in the face, that really dictates the like overall theme of the outfit. So I pick out my pants and then I find a top to go with it. And I always think about layering when I'm picking out outfits. Next question is fave workout class, especially for people just starting out. So I have only done a couple of workout classes in my lifetime. I normally tend to work out alone and write my own workouts and go to a gym and lift or run. So I actually though just started taking Pure Bar and I cannot recommend it enough to anyone who 
wants to go to a workout class and just get moving and work in a group and have an instructor. I think it's so amazing. I've been loving it so much. I'm actually doing the Pure Bar like strength uh, march challenge. So I've like fallen in love with it and that's what I would recommend for anyone looking for a workout class. Next question is thoughts on the democratic race between Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders. This is a solid question. I don't want to say too much because we could get into it like so deeply, but I think that overall it is important to pick a candidate that you find your beliefs align with. Personally, I think that Bernie is going to be a strong candidate and that we should direct our attention in his way, but to each their own. I think overall it's important to make sure, especially the people of my generation, that we get out and vote. That's essential to get out and vote and make sure that we're making our voice known. Next question is, fave Leonardo DiCaprio film. Um, so if you don't know, I'm obsessed with Leonardo DiCaprio. I've loved him for a very long time. My favorite film that he is in is actually The Aviator, which is kind of a story biography film on Howard Hughes and his life as the entrepreneur, heir, craft mogul man that he is. Um, the time period that it's set in is so aesthetically pleasing and kind of romanticized for me. And then also the way Leo depicts and acts out Howard Hughes is just like so amazing. What are the th last three movies you watched? So I watched The Parasite recently because it won Best Picture. It was okay, honestly. Not a huge fan. The other one I watched was Gentlemen with Matthew McConaughey and Colin Firth really good. I would recommend that one. It was funny. It was entertaining. Definitely a must watch. And then the other one that I can think of, if I'm not missing something, is Detective Pikachu, which out of all three of those movies that I just talked about was my absolute favorite, like top 10 movies of all time list Detective Pikachu is on now. The creatures, I mean the Pokemon, are just so buttly and like cute and I am obsessed with that movie. Detective Pikachu is so cute. He's just so like bozy. Oh. I've watched that movie like five or six times after the fact. Okay. Um, favorite HBO show? This is a quick easy answer. Sex in the City. It's a classic. Um, you can't go wrong with Carrie Bradshaw. Next question. What is your opinion on the coronavirus? So topical with these questions. Um, this is really interesting because I work in a company where it's super talked about and is affecting the business heavily and affects supply chain, of course, you can imagine. Um, it's super important to be aware. It's really important to know what's going on and it's important to take the necessary precautions in order to protect yourself and your family and prepare for what we might experience. I don't think it should be taken lightly and though there are facts shared and people like to dispute the things that are being said, and talk about how the flu kills more people, yada, yada, yada. This is still very important and you still need to be very aware and cautious. Like if you're sick, stay home. Next question, daily simple pleasure. I think that one of my most recent daily simple pleasures has been breakfast after I finish working out. Like, it's just like, might be one of the greatest things ever, because you're so hungry, you finish your workout, and you're just like, famished. 
and it tastes so good. Like I had yogurt this morning with cinnamon and it was just delicious. So I recommend that if you're a morning workouter, save your breakfast for after, try it. It's like an incredible bodily feeling. Last question of the video is, this is a hard hitting one. Props to the person that submitted this. What are your biggest goals and where do you see yourself in five years? Yo. So, the first part's a little bit easier. My biggest goals are to expand my own personal brand and content and really like build something for myself where I can share all of the stuff that I'm passionate about. That's why I made my YouTube channel. That's why I'm so active on Instagram. I wanna share with you guys and like just cultivate a really like safe space for like a group to talk about things and get to know each other and like build a community and so my goal is to have something like that I'm planning to start a podcast and talk more in depth about stuff like that so I just want to build my overall brand and content and have as much to offer my audience as possible because like I do it for you guys so I hope that you enjoy it and love it and then the second part of the question where do I see myself in five years boy so I will be 26 in five years which is still super young I still barely know what I want to do even though I have a full-time job and I'm a graduate um, I really don't know I hope that I'm successful I hope that I'm thriving maybe living in a different state um, since I am born and raised in Ohio for currently so that would maybe be a goal in five years and then I hope that I've really progressed in my career and can see something really concrete about like the progress that I've made and I can look back on videos like this and see wow five years ago I was just starting out and now look where I am I've created this like wonderful audience and we're such a family and we talk about everything we talk about our feelings and our inner emotions and our hard times and like we have that group that's my hope for five years from now I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had so much fun answering all your questions um, if you ever have any more questions, you know you can comment down below, or of course you can message me on any of my social medias, at Maddie McCarts on Instagram and at Maddie Makes It on Twitter. Hit me up there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!